The world's cameras are trained on the British Parliament, waiting for a Brexit breakthrough. Protesters are now permanently on patrol on the pavements outside. For many, the workings of this house appear increasingly mystifying. But after months of Brexit paralysis, could things be starting to move? In a closed meeting with Conservative MPs, Theresa May said she's prepared to make the ultimate move and step down as Prime Minister after she's delivered Brexit. I know there is a desire for a new approach and new leadership in the second phase of the Brexit negotiations, he said, and I won't stand in the way of that, but we need to get the deal through and deliver Brexit. I'm prepared to leave this job earlier than I intended in order to do what is right for our country and our party. She concluded by asking everyone in the room to back her deal to allow for a smooth and orderly Brexit. It's the problem. But so far the UK's departure has been anything but. Her deal's been resoundingly rejected twice, but on Wednesday she once again championed her plan. We have a deal which cancels our EU membership fee, which stops the EU making our laws, which gives us our own immigration policy, ends the common agricultural policy for good, ends the common fisheries policy for good. Other options don't do that. Other options would lead to delay, to uncertainty and risk never delivering Brexit. The opposition Labour leaders called the government's handling of Brexit chaotic and incompetent. Why is she prepared to carry on risking jobs and industry in another attempt to yet again run down the clock and try to blackmail the MPs behind her into supporting a deal that's already been twice rejected? But Theresa May's deal isn't dead yet. Fears of Parliament pushing for a much softer Brexit or no Brexit at all could spook hardline Brexiteers into now backing her plan. Although Northern Ireland's Democratic Unionist Party that props up May's government has said it will not support the deal in another vote. May will have to do some careful calculations before giving her deal a third go. The nose. Meanwhile, MPs have taken unprecedented steps of their own, gaining control of parliamentary proceedings to vote an alternative to Theresa May's Brexit plan. There were eight options, none secured a majority. But two of the proposals for a customs union with the EU and a public vote on a deal gained more support than Theresa May's Brexit plan. MPs will vote again on Monday. The government and parliament are locked in a bitter struggle for control of the Brexit process. There are multiple visions for the future of the country, some of them conflicting, some of them contradictory. But a question that unites both Remainers and Leavers is whether making the ultimate political sacrifice will benefit Theresa May's cause. Neve Barker, Al Jazeera, Westminster.